Hi, Johnson's class. Hi, Johnson. Today we finished nets and surface area. And our I can statement was I can identify the net of a 3D figure and I can find surface area. Think we can do that? Yeah. All right, here we go. A net. A net is what kind of shape? It's a flat figure or a flat shape that can be what? Folded. Folded. And when we fold it, what does it turn out to make? A 3D shape. So a net would be something that's flat that you can fold to make into a 3D shape, yes? These two, three, four, five are all um, vocab words of shapes. Surface area. Last thing we're going to do on this video would be surface area. Surface area is the total area of all of the Spaces. of what kind of shape? Let's talk about nets. This is a net. It's a flattened version of a 3D shape. What 3D shape did we flatten to make this net? If you took this and you use this for the bottom and this for the top and you kind of just like wrap that around, it would make like a water bottle looking thing almost, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's a cylinder. Mm -hmm. This is a net of what? Oh. So you could take a cone and flatten it. It would look like this. Yeah. Yeah. Think of like a steamroller running it over. That's what it would look like flattened out, yes? Yeah. What does this net make? What do we have in our classroom that reminds us of a cube? Kleenex box. Kleenex box. Could we take our Kleenex box and flatten it and would all of the different faces kind of make something like that? Yeah. Do we have one of these in our classroom too? Yes. What's it called? Prism. No, what's it called? Kleenex box. It's in the shape of a rectangular prism, right? Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Surface area. In order to find surface area, you must find the area of each face. This is a rectangular prism, otherwise known as a Kleenex box. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Is this a face? Yeah. Yes. Is the face back here? Yeah. How many are we up to right now? Two. Two. Is this a face? Yeah. Is this a face? Yeah. Now how many are we up to? Four. Is the front side of this a face? Yeah. That's five. Is the back side a face? Yeah. So if we find the area of each of those six shapes, would that give us the surface or the entire area? Yeah. Okay, here we go. What is the... Um, what are the dimensions of that shape? Which is what? Is this shape back here the exact same shape? Yes. So 7 times 6 again? Yeah. So we found the area of the front and the back of the Kleenex box? Yeah. What about the top? What's the, what's the dimensions of the top? Three right here, yes. And six right here, because there's a three and a six down below, right? So three, three times six? And then down here, same idea, yes? Three and six? Right there? So now we need to find this part. What are the dimensions of this part of the Kleenex box? Seven and three, which is right here. And then the back side would be the same, yes or no? Seven and three. What are these called here where we put all those numbers in? And then these are the answers to our plugins? If you add all those together, that's your surface area, right? Yeah. Yeah. Trying our, I'm sorry, this shape. How many faces does this shape have? Five. How many plugins do I have? Five. Five shapes, five plugins, right? Yeah. Can I literally break the shapes of that 3D shape off yeah. into 2D shapes? Yeah. Find the area of all of them, yes? Yeah. Add them together? Yeah. What's really important about triangles, Wes, Ryan? What's really important about triangles when you're finding the area of them? You need to make sure you do what, you two? Divide by two. Divide by two. We good? Yeah. 